Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,319. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,319 to 1,320 start file or the finished file and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1,318, we needed a report that showed the unique visitors to a particular site for each day. In essence, we were doing a unique count with one condition. And in that video, we saw the data model pivot table solution, which is by far the easiest, and the array formula solution, which is by far the most complicated, but the only one that automatically updates when source data changes. Now, the problem with the pivot table method we showed back in this video is that it only works in 2013 and 16 if you have access to the data model, either through Power Pivot or in Excel 2016. It's automatically there. And of course, Bill Sizzes, one of our awesome online Excel teammates, posted a video in Polish about two awesome alternative solutions. Now, the first one is going to involve just using a regular pivot table, but we're going to make two pivot tables. We'll first make a helper pivot table, and then we'll make a second pivot table based on the first. Let's go ahead and see how to do this. Just as last time, we have our same data set, and here's a bunch of dates. But notice, we can't simply count how many are in each date because there's duplicates. So the answer for 829 is that one, two, three people visited the site. All right, let's see how to do this with two pivot tables. I'm going to click in a single cell, go up to Insert, Pivot Table, or use the keyboard Alt and V. It got it right because we have a proper data set and there's empty cells all the way around. I'm going to put it on this sheet. Location, let's say cell F13. Click OK. Now here's our field list. I'm going to drag the pivot table field list a little bit closer. And we first want to drag date down to rows. And instantly we get a unique list. And now we want to drag employee down to row also. And now we have, in essence, a unique list of each employee in the row area. There's three on 29, six on 30, and so on. Now let's change the layout of this so we have dates in one column an employee in a second column. We come up to design, and in fact, we want to go to report layout and immediately show in tabular, which of course accomplishes our goal and puts the field names at the top. Now we want to repeat these dates. So we go back up to design, report layout, and there it is, repeat all item labels. So in essence, it looks like we have a new data set with two fields, date and employee. All we have to do is get rid of the grand totals and the subtotals. Go back up to design, grand totals, off for rows and columns, subtotals, do not show subtotals. And look at that. We have, in essence, a proper data set that we created using a pivot table. Now, I'm going to come over to the side, click in a cell, and I'm going to use the keyboard, Alt and V. Now, it doesn't know what to do, of course, because we didn't put our cursor inside a proper data set. But I'm simply going to use this text box and highlight the field names. And I'm going to highlight a bunch of cells below, however many I think I might need as a maximum. So if the source data changes, this will update. This is an I-13, so I can click OK. And now I have a new pivot table. Look at that date and employee. I drag date down to rows. And there we have a unique list with blanks. Hey, I'm going to come up to the filter and uncheck blank, click OK. Now I'm going to drag employees down to values. And now it says count of employees. And of course, that is the correct count. Immediately I go up to design, report layout, show in tabular. And there we go. There is our count. I can change the name up here. I say distinct count of employees. The other word you'll hear is unique count. Now let's test it. Let's go over here. And so we have this data set right here. I want to change one of these GGs to Fran and Enter. So now here we should have five. Right click, refresh. And just like that, we have updated this pivot table. Right click, refresh. And there it is, our distinct count of employees for each date at this particular site using two pivot tables. 
That is amazing. I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Bill Sizzes. We'll see you next video.